personal mantras is to just get 1% better. I think this relates to the nature of e-commerce as well, whether that's you know making your ad a little bit more attractive so people click or making your product page better so people want to buy your product more or having better customer service or shipping out a little bit faster. To make these small improvements over time, it really makes a big difference. My name is John Chen and I've owned a number of businesses that I've bought through Flippa, including Blush and Bar, which is a direct-to-consumer jewelry company, and then Posh Shop, which is a plus-size uh, direct-to-consumer brand. This probably all started four or five years ago. I was working at a hedge fund at the time. I was like super into my job. I thought I was gonna be like the next Warren Buffett. Like I left and wanted to do something entrepreneurial, but I didn't have a lot of money, I didn't have any connections, I didn't have an MBA, I didn't have anyone who would give me money to do anything. So I did something crazy where I went on Flippa and bought a jewelry business from a husband and wife couple for like seven and a half thousand dollars. Also sold it on Flippa. So that was my first business I bought on Flippa and now this is the second one. Um, it's a plus size clothing business. After I sold the jewelry business, I got really, um, got really bored and it was during the pandemic. So um, I think there was another husband and wife couple who had been kind of doing this for a while who wanted to get out. And uh, I knew that this is something that like I could do. So I just went ahead and went for it. And now it's also been a, a pretty big success. So what was cool about Flippa was there is, even though some of these businesses are a little bit smaller, they at least have that tiny bit of traction that makes you feel like it's something, you know? When I first got the jewelry business, I didn't really know how to grow it. So I tried a bunch of different avenues. Long story short, I figured out Facebook ads and paid social and social media marketing and uh, was able to grow it through there. With Posh Shop, I had bought it for $60,000 and now we're on track to do 2 million in revenue this year. So um, it's been crazy growth. At the time I bought it, it was doing, I wanna say 10 to 20,000 a month in revenue. So it's considerable growth. Um, when I first started out, it was kind of in my apartment, I had no employees. Now we have like a whole team, we have a warehouse and uh, we're gonna continue growing. So it's been a good journey for sure. I wanted a business um, specifically in e-commerce that sold a product that was kind of emotional. You know, when you think about how people buy stuff online nowadays, if you want something that's kind of like a logical item, like a, the example I always use is like a stapler. You know, you're just gonna go on Amazon and search stapler, purple stapler. That's just how people shop for these type of logical type of products. When you buy something that's kind of emotional, you see an ad for let's say a piece of, piece of clothing or like um, jewelry, you say, oh, this looks really nice. You don't really search for this specific type of style. You just kind of see it and you say, oh, this looks good, I would want that. So that was like a big criteria. The product has to kind of be emotional and not lend itself to just kind of a search thing. Compared to all the other sites with uh, higher price points for all these businesses, Flippa makes it more accessible for people who want to get started or who want to do a side hustle or don't want to commit a ton of money to, to start, but still want to try it. But yeah, Flippa has definitely changed my life. Without Flippa, I would be working another job, probably unhappy. And um, Flippa kind of just gave me this career path that I didn't even know existed. Yeah, Flippa has been a game changer for me for sure.